blueberry plant, like any plant, requires plant nutrients. It requires nitrogen, it requires phosphorus, it requires potassium, exactly as any other plant. So there are all kind of beliefs and mystics about blueberry. The only difference of blueberry, or one of the main difference of blueberry plant to other plants, is the fact that the soil has to be at low pH. Let's say five, it is a good environmental uh, area for the root zone of blueberries. And of course, beside the N, P and K, it requires the secondary plant nutrients, it requires the sulfur, the calcium, the magnesium. and micronutrients. So all these are no different from any, any other plant. The only thing is, you know, when to apply, how to apply, how much to apply. This blueberry plant, it's growing in organic. Actually, it's a pit moss with uh, some perlite the mixtures. It's organic. So the problem with organic, or one of the problems, is that it breaks down and it releases nitrogen. Now, towards the end of the season, in the fall, actually you don't want to have nitrogen because you don't want to have growth. But in this case, there was a growth and we can see the result of that dead new growth because it's more vulnerable to cold weather so that's it's because of nitrogen that was released from the organic and the farmer the grower the blueberry grower actually he cannot control it he cannot stop it what it's important here how these plants are being irrigated and fertigated. So the fertigation of these plants is with drip irrigation, as we can see here. This is the source of water and nutrients. Now, the nutrients are based the amount or the recommendations on the size of the plant. It is the same as a young person, a small person. It's less than a big person. The same the plants when it's smaller he requires less nutrients. When it's larger, he requires much more nutrients. So our recommendations of Ecosol Blue, it's based on the size of the plant, not on the age, because the same plant that it's here, six old year plant can grow maybe under different conditions and can be much smaller. And then it needs less quantity. So. Our recommendations are based on the size of the plant. Blueberry grower can use the Tecosol Blue and just put it in the fertilizer tank. It dissolves very quickly by adding into the water. It gets the pinkish color very easily and then to the water system straight into his field to the plants
This is Ecosol Blue, the actual material. You can see it has a pinkish color and that in order to identify it when you make a solution. And we took this product and we diluted it in, those, in these two solutions. So that's Ecosol Blue solution. It's exactly the same, except this by adding into the water, it gets the pinkish color. And this is the product that we can apply to the drip irrigation, any kind of drip irrigation. The pH of, this, of the growing media here, it's above the recommended pH. It's, uh, it's more than 6.2, 6.3, and that's not recommended for blueberry plants. The, blue, the recommended pH for blueberry plants, it's around 5. And here we have a way of uh, lowering the pH with Ecosol Blue. This is already a prepared solution as the farmer will apply it through the, his irrigation. And we can see what type of effect with a little bit of Ecosol Blue in the root system can bring the pH down to the recommended level, as I say, around 5. So if he continuously will feed with Ecosol Blue, he can maintain the right pH for the growing media for the, soil, for the roots of that uh, blueberry plant. See, I just want to show that the roots are very, they are not spreading all over, very concentrated. So this is from the time of planting the roots. Mm. They have not developed much. Mm. So they are very close to the drip irrigation. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's where the drip yeah. originally was. And these are the roots. So they are very close to, the, to this area. Mm. They don't spread much, as we can see here. the round six point six this blueberry grower is using ecosol blue and dissolves in his in this tank again very easy dissolves very quickly and once it's in the solution with the water he injects it into the field through his drip irrigation he has all over his growing area drip irrigation and this ecosol blue feeds those plants Blueberry plants are still in dormant situation. It's still cold. The soil is cold. But it is ready for the spring when the soil temperature will be warmer. The plant will start to be more active. And when it's active, the root activity 
then through the root system, the Ecosol Blue will be injected through the emitters. We can see the emitter, it's right here, and that's where the root area, so it fits the plant exactly where the active roots are. So we can see two lines with two emitters, again, A bit of Ecosol Blue in the root system can bring the pH down to the recommended level, as I say, around 5. 